Good morning, everyone. It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Hope you're well. Um, now, I've driven today to Chingford, which is uh, East London on the border of um, Essex, I suppose, in a way. Could be. <laughs> now, of course, today I'm here to see Ronnie and Reggie Cray's grave. Now, we all know about the Crays. Um, some people worship them, some people think they're amazing, and some people, you know, treat them as the criminals that they were. Now, obviously, they're twin brothers, and they were born on the 24th of October, 1933. So I'm just looking out for my location, but I can't find it. <laughs> and, um, Ronnie passed in 1995 and Reggie died in 2000. Now uh, they were probably best known for their uh, gangland activities in the east of London from the 50s to about 67 where their gang was known as the firm and they were involved with murder, armed robbery, arson protection rackets and assaults so I would suggest people wouldn't really want to get on the wrong side of the craze at any time the thing was in the 60s they were involved through their nightclub with politicians entertainers people like Diana Dawes and um, David Bailey used to take photos of them all the time as well, so that's why they got a little bit of celebrity notoriety, if you like. Of course, Barbara Windsor was close friends of the uh, the Crays as well. Now, they were called up to do national service in the British Army in March 1952. But um, they got themselves in a bit of trouble because <laughs> they attempted to leave the place and uh, they weren't really allowed. So the corporal in charge tried to stop them and uh, they ended up assaulting him. And uh, he was seriously injured by Ronnie. And then the craze walked back to their East London home. They were arrested the next morning and the uh, police turned them back over to the army. <laughs> so I think that was the sort of start of where they were heading with their lives. Hi guys, now I've got to say a quick few thank yous to people that have um, donated to the channel. If you want to donate to the channel, you just go to my YouTube banner and in the bottom right corner, there's a little donate button and it just helps with the fuel, that's all it is. Um, so I've got to say thank you to John James, I've got to say thank you to Sarah Hardwick and of course Chris Neal as well, who have all very kindly donated some. And like I say, the money just purely goes to the petrol to help me go to and from these wonderful locations. Ronald, what do you think about Clubland in London? Well, I think most clubs are very respectable, you know, and uh, I don't think there's any trouble at all in them, except occasionally. Can you tell me why, during the trial, you didn't give evidence? Well, we were advised by illegal people not to give evidence. Why was that? Well, the law of this country is well established. The onus is on the prosecution to prove its case. Reggie married Francis Shear in 1965 but sadly two years later she took her own life and uh, he was distraught after that now Reggie and Ronnie's mother Violet um, passed away while they were both inside but under a very very heavy guard they were allowed to attend her funeral which I should imagine back in them days, with the um, high profile people they were and the connections they had, I should imagine there would have been a lot of, lot of security there. You know, prison officers, police. It's quite a nice sunny day here today. Quite a big cemetery as well. Trying to find it is, <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> I think I'm getting closer. I think I've seen it. Okay, so this is 
Francis Cray, who was married to Reggie, who took her own life, in love and memory of my dear wife, Francis Cray, who passed away 7th of June, 1967, aged 23 years. If I could write the beauty of your eyes, and in fresh numbers, number all your graces, the age to come would say, this poet lies. Such heavenly touches, near touch earthly faces. And of course, Cray's mother and father, in love and memory of our dear mum and dad, Violet Cray, who passed away 4th of August 1982, aged 72 years, and Charles David Cray, who passed away 8th of March 1983. May you both rest peacefully. Our love and memories are always with you. God bless you both. And then of course, in loving memory, Ronald Cray, born 24th of October 1933, died 17th of March 1995. Reginald Cray, born the 24th of October 1933, died the 1st of October 2000. Grant them eternal rest, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine on them. And of course their brother, Charles James Gray, born the 9th of July 1927, died 4th of April 2000, much loved father and friend, now reunited with his son Gary and family. You are sadly missed by Diane and all of your dear friends. God bless you, Charlie. May the eternal light shine upon you. Today, Ronnie Cray died in hospital two days after collapsing in Broadmoor Prison, where he'd been since 1969. ITN's Paul Davis looks back on an extraordinary life of crime. Gang leader, killer and schizophrenic, Ronnie Cray in the glasses here filmed attending his mother's funeral 13 years ago before returning to Broadmoor and a life sentence that ended with his death this morning. Known as The Firm, Ronnie and twin Reggie ruled London's East End in the early 60s, a reign that somehow horrified and fascinated the British public. Both had trained as boxers and used violence to impose their protection rackets. Ronnie, on the left of his mother here, was a paranoid schizophrenic, the most volatile and unpredictable of the two. Very mad. I mean, he would see messages from television. He would talk that people were out to kill him. He would see threat everywhere. And this is what made him so ferocious and so dangerous, because from a quite innocuous sort of remark or glance, suddenly Cray would, Ronnie Cray would turn on someone. The Cray's nightclubs attracted celebrities like Christine Keeler. Judy Garland was another visitor. The twins themselves enjoyed celebrity status until a crackdown on London's gangs ended with both being driven away from the Old Bailey, jailed for life for the murders of George Connell and Jack the Hat McVitie. Around the East End and the pub where George Connell was shot dead, there are those who remember Ronnie Cray with affection. Ronnie Cray, his attitude to life was this. If you do harm to me, I'm going to do harm to you. And I think we all live by So there you have it. Ronnie and Reggie, brother Charlie, mum and dad, Violet and Charles, and of course, Francis Cray, who seems to have like the biggest grave there. And there's someone else that's here as well, as a little headstone. Gary Charles Cray, died the 8th of March, 1996, aged 44 years. So there you have it guys, the craze there, um, no matter what you thought of the craze really, whether you liked them, hero worshipped them, didn't like them, 
Um, you know, they've got a place in history for whatever reasons, whatever your views are. And of course, there have been plenty of films made about them. The uh, 1990 film starring Martin and Gary Kemp when they played the twin brothers. And then, of course, Tom Hardy in 2015. Um, did a great job as well. And there's a few more others, and obviously there's been lots of documentaries. And I think Fred Dynage was um, a biographer for him. I think he wrote some of their memoirs and things like that. If I'm wrong, tell me. Um, please leave your thoughts down below. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's it for me in Chingford Cemetery, East London. It's funny, you do a two hour drive. <laughs> you do your filming and you gotta do a two hour drive home again. But I enjoy it, I don't mind, I really don't mind. Anyway, good to see you all again. Leave me a comment, like and subscribe. See you all in the next one, take care.